Hey boaters, Brian here with Unreal Performance. Today we're gonna to take you through our newest Sensation 32 CCX. This is one of our top selling boats for a bunch of different reasons, offering a manageable size to trailer and dock, but still plenty of room to take your whole team out. Also the performance of the boat is second to none, built with a hull to handle rough waters, but still give your driver a true performance feel. We're also gonna walk you through some of the key features that Sensation offers all of our customers that set them apart from every center council in the performance industry. Let's start off with what everybody likes to see, the power. The 32 is offered in three different packages, either the 300, the 400, or the 500 Mercury Racing Engine. This one right here has the all new V10 400, and we're seeing top speeds of about 80 with this package. Now we're gonna take a look at the transom. One thing that I really like about the setup on the 32 is it's very wide back here, and it's also C-decked, allowing safe, easy access on and off of the dock. A key feature that I just wanna highlight is the shore power is actually set up off of the rear back here. So even if you forget to plug your boat in after it's covered up, it's in a great accessible spot. You can just reach over and plug the boat right in and you're hooked up. Sliding over to the bilge compartment, Easy access to everything down here. We've got two bilges put in, so in case one fails, you're not hanging out to dry. It's also separated from the other compartment up front. Gives you some extra storage. And then sliding over to a really nice feature is a recess ladder that shoots out for when you're swimming. There's also a handle that's mounted into the actual mold so that when you're getting up, you've got something really stable to grab onto. It's a quick fold back in. Another nice thing is you've got your LED transom lights down here. Throw a little flare out. You can change all the colors. We got it set to blue, match the color of the boat. Next, we're gonna take a look at the rear seating of the 32. Something that Sensation designed in-house that's unique to their boat brand is this awesome pass-through with C-deck padding on the top. It allows people to enter and exit the boat without stepping on any of the seat cushions or sacrificing any space. On the back two seats, we've got some great storage compartments. They're fitted with rubber lining and finished inside, so if you have shoes, shirts, anything to throw in there, lines, it's a great spot. Moving over to the seats, you can see that they're lined with great cup holders, so you've got spots for your drinks. It's got a handle for a comfortable ride. When you're cruising, you've got a good spot to sit and hold on firm. And then storage in the back is awesome. One of my favorite parts is this compartment right here. It's all dry storage, finished with rubber lining and separated from the bilge, so it gives you a great spot to store big items that you don't want to get wet. Then we've got the wash down kit insert right in the back here with the hose stored in the seat. So when you're done for the day and you're ready to clean up, it's a quick attachment and you're off and running. And storage compartments on the side, we've got one on each side here. These are deep storage compartments. So if you've got brushes for cleaning your boat, the sunshade or any other long items, even bumpers fit in here, great. Awesome spot for storage. Now we're gonna take a look at the rear spot of the helm. Every 32 comes standard with a plumbed cooler for your drinks. This specific one has got the extra added chill plate cooler so you can throw your drinks in for an entire weekend without ice and keep everything cold. Also, we've got four lit LED cup holders. You can change colors and add a little flare to the back. They also added a floodlight in case you're maneuvering when the sun's going down. Gives you a lot of extra light here in the back section of the boat. And then down here, we've got our JL stereo system. The stage one JL audio stereo system comes standard with two 10 inch subs and eight speakers. Sensation also offers two upgraded packages, stage two and three, but I promise you guys, you're not gonna be able to hear the person next to you with stage one. These guys love their music and volume. A great feature that Sensation has recently added is this sneaky little side garbage door, which allows a place to easily throw cans or garbage instead of having bags cluttering up the back of the boat. And something that makes it even nicer is how simple it is to remove. Right in front of your seats here, this unzips, comes down. You can pop your garbage can right off, take your bag out, throw the can back in, and voila, you're done. When you're removing the trash cans, 
Just make sure that you have the door open. If it's closed, that locks it into place so it's not rattling around at all. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the dash. Up front, we've got two lit LED cup holders along with our windless anchor switch and RGB lighting controls. Standard on every 32 is dual 16 inch Garmin's with the 903 Mercury Vessel View. This is a really great setup allowing the driver to watch their charts, gauges, and motors all at the same time. Right below, we've got the Fusion Head Radio and your trim tabs located right below that. Sliding over to our flush mounted panel, we've got all of our accessories laid out in front of us with our battery switch right up front and a parallel feature that allows you to jump the boat in case your house battery goes dead if you're out there having a little bit too much fun. Moving to the top, an awesome thing that Sensation put in recently is this mesh netting. Snaps down, allows you to hold your phone, sunglasses, or any other items. Right above that, We've got a really cool feature that allows the driver to look at every passenger on their boat. It's a simple thing having a rear view mirror, but when you're driving, it's nice to have eyes on the entire group. Now our seating, you've got retractable seating that's hollowed out with a step up right here. So when you're driving, you can lock yourself in with your feet, sit comfortably and still be on the throttles. If you feel like standing, which is how I usually drive, you've got the hollowed out back support and you're right behind the wheel, ready to roll. Now we're gonna move down and take a look at the cabin. So the 32 has one of the largest cabins in class for this size of boat. With over a six foot ceiling, you have plenty of headroom to change and get into your clothes without bopping your head on, on the roof. Then behind me, you've got easy access to your keys, a little mirror, you've got your cabin lights, and behind this panel is your wiring and rigging in case you ever need to get to something. I'm sitting on a seat cushioned head right here in case anybody has to use the bathroom. This boat is rigged with an electric pump out, but you can also get a macerator added if you want to upgrade to that option. Just wanted to give you an idea of the space of the horseshoe bench right here and these seats that pop out to form the day bed. Another really nice feature is they have a window, port window right here that you can open up to get airflow into the cabin. So in case it gets hot or stuffy, you've got an option to cool it down. Now let's go take a look at the bow. Before we move up to the bow, gotta show off the best seat in the house, the two sun seats that are up front offering a really awesome ride, armrests, handles, lock yourself in, go for an exhilarating cruise, and do it in comfort. Now let's take a look up front. The bow area offers a really unique setup with rear-facing or forward-facing seating, as well as a fusion head radio up front in case you wanna control the volume or the song, two USB chargers for your phone, and two cup holders as well. Right up front, we've got access to our windless anchor system in case we have to take a look at anything. And then you've got plenty of storage up here. A big storage compartment for bumpers right in the center, as well as new to this year's model, two very deep compartments that go all the way up to the nose of the boat. They've got the rubber lined finished insides, so you've got plenty of space to keep all of your belongings if you need it up here. It's got room up front for the bow for a group, room in the back, and we're about to check out the hard top where you can have three different conversations going on all at once. Let's take a look up there. So the first thing I wanna point out is stepping up onto the first seat, you've got a C-decked pad here for the second step. You've got secure handles to pull yourself up and a fully C-decked top. So access is super easy getting up and down. Just a couple quick steps and you're hanging out where all the sun is. Something unique to Sensation Power Boats is they have found a way to utilize every inch of their boats. It's really an awesome feature that our customers love and something that no other center council is offering. Now let's go ahead and talk about performance. So when it comes to performance on the 32 CCX, something that we're really happy with is the performance of getting out of the hole. 
This boat can shoot up on the plane within just a couple of seconds. Your cruising speeds you're looking at with a full crew of people, somewhere between 50 and 60 miles an hour. The boat's not working that hard. You're very stable and you're riding in low RPMs. We're seeing top speeds with the twin 400 V10 package around 80 miles an hour. This thing just has an awesome get up. It has a great cruising speed. And when you wanna have that performance sporty boat feel, even if you're coming from something like an offshore, you really do get it with this boat. You can bring the whole crew. Hope you guys really enjoyed this walkthrough of the Sensation 32 CCX. If you have any questions, reach out to Unreal Performance. We would love to show you why this should be your next boat.